Okay, yes, this is yet another video about COVID-19 or the coronavirus. And yes, I would love to make videos about other topics, but I'm only human and I'm obsessed with disasters. So this is currently dominating my brain. But don't worry, this video is not just about a pandemic. It's also about fucking up as a science communicator and how to do it better. Uh, yes, there are various ways to fuck up and ways to recover from fucking up. And some of them are better than others. It's like I used to skate roller derby. And the first thing they teach you in roller derby is how to fall because you're going to fall eventually. So you might as well learn to do it in a way that doesn't break your ass. So the other night I happened to be uh, on Twitter, as always, and I saw a science communicator offering to do a Q&A about the coronavirus. And I thought this was strange because this person is not a working scientist, nor does he specialize in talking about health issues or viruses. Like, as a science generalist, I am happy to talk about COVID-19, obviously, but if someone has specific questions, I would much prefer that they direct them to a, like an epidemiologist that does science outreach like Tara Smith or Beth Linus. That said, the Q&A was brief and simple. And at one point, someone asked, what is the most common way that COVID-19 spreads? And the communicator responded, Sick person touches face, sick person touches a thing, well person touches the thing, well person touches face. That is not correct. That's not the most common way that this virus or any other really that I'm aware of spreads. Uh, COVID-19 spreads via the droplets that fly out of a sick person's nose and mouth when they cough and sneeze. Those droplets might, if you're particularly unlucky, go straight into your nose and mouth uh, if you happen to be in their face when that happens. Uh, but otherwise, you know, they might land on a person's hand. And then when they shake your hand, now it's on your hand. Or they might uh, land on a shopping cart handle or some uh, dollar bills or a doorknob, and you might then come along and touch one of those things, and then you touch your face, specifically your eyes, your nose, or your mouth. Those droplets would then get into your system, and you would probably become infected. Uh, that's why masks can be effective at stopping the spread of this disease. Masks can prevent the sick person from blasting their nasty droplets everywhere, and they can also prevent a well person from uh, breathing in those droplets immediately, or they can prevent a well person from touching their nose and mouth. Um, the former is much more likely to help than the latter. Um, it's much more helpful to have the mask on the sick person than to have it on the healthy person, which is why you have experts asking that you don't go out and buy a bunch of masks if you're currently well. Uh, there are a finite number of them, and we want sick people and medical personnel and other people caring for sick people in close quarters to have access to those masks. The science communicator's uh, wrong answer probably won't result in too much trouble, but it was faved over a thousand times and retweeted more than a hundred times. And it could cause someone who is sick to not worry about where they're coughing or sneezing, or it could encourage that sick person to not use a mask when a mask could actually be helpful. Much worse, though, uh, is the tweet from another scientist that was brought to my attention by a panicked friend who luckily ran it past me because it didn't quite sound right to her. Uh, this scientist wrote on Twitter, hand sanitizer is antibacterial. The coronavirus is a virus. A bacteria and a virus is not the same. Wash your hands. Sanitizer will do nothing for the coronavirus. Sincerely, a scientist that is tired of this shit. As of the making of this video, that tweet has been up for more than a day and it's been retweeted 123,000 times and faved nearly 400,000 times. This tweet is fucking dangerous. 
Uh, hand sanitizer absolutely works on both viruses and bacteria. According to Professor James Scott, Associate Professor in the Division of Occupational and Environmental Health at the Dalla Lana School of Public Health at the University of Toronto, so long as your hand sanitizer has 60 to 70 percent alcohol, it'll work by disrupting the virus's outer coat. For a bacterium, they work by disrupting its cell membrane. It's not a panacea, though, since certain viruses lacking an outer coat or spore-forming bacteria are not very susceptible. COVID-19 is, in fact, susceptible because it has that outer coat. Many, many people will find themselves quite often in situations where they should clean their hands with soap and water, but maybe they don't have access to that. So in those situations, they absolutely should use hand sanitizer. Like, let's say you went grocery shopping, uh, where you touched the shopping cart, a bunch of products, the money you got as change, your car doors, and you're running late to pick up your kid from preschool. If you think that hand sanitizer is useless, maybe you won't bother to use it before picking up your adorable little Petri dish of a child, and you would be dangerously wrong. Absolutely, everyone should carry hand sanitizer with them if they can while this virus is rampant. Use it constantly and keep it on you for next winter when this virus is sure to make a comeback along with our good old regular flu that also kills people. Other people pointed out to the science communicator that she was wrong about hand sanitizer. Journalist Aaron Biba apparently had a conversation with her in which Uh, The communicator acknowledged that she was wrong, but refused to delete the tweet because even though the info was factually incorrect, it got people to practice better hygiene. So she's leaving it up. What a bunch of bullshit. Washing your hands is better than using sanitizer, but that's obviously not what will result from this tweet. The result will be a whole lot of people who could be sanitizing their hands regularly that won't do it because they think it's useless. People won't suddenly stop using hand sanitizer and then put their whole lives on hold to go find a clean bathroom with hot water and soap every time they touch something shady in public. That's just simple human nature. It's logistics. You can't do it. I don't think the scientist behind that viral tweet is an idiot. Uh, She made a mistake. And at that point, when it's pointed out to her, the right thing to do would be to admit as much, delete the initial tweet, and then boost correct information in its place. I think she knows that her false information isn't going to encourage anyone to be more hygienic. Uh, But she's too enamored, probably, with the thrill that comes from viral content. Uh, It's those fake internet points that lead people to make up stupid stories on Reddit or, I don't know, play stupid pranks on people and put it on YouTube. So now she's just another person contributing to the downfall of society in exchange for precious retweets. Anyway, uh, make sure you slam that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notifications and uh, give this video a like down below. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, uh, Facebook. I'm not really on there very 